Genesis 1, verse 21, KJV, And God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly, after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind, and God saw that it was good. In the new versions, they change it to, so God created great sea creatures, or even sea monsters. Remember how in Matthew 12, verse 40, Jesus says, For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. When thinking about the account of Jonah in the belly of the whale, Think about this passage and realize how much God is in control. Genesis 3 verse 1, KJV. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God hath had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Now, the KJV uses the word subtle, but the new versions change it to crafty or cunning. The fact that the devil is subtle demonstrates how he deceives. If your enemy is subtle, then that means the utmost discernment is required, because every little detail matters. Genesis 3, verse 5, KJV. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. The new versions change it from ye shall be as gods to and you will be like God. Satan's invitation to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil is based on pride. To be like God is not the goal, as God is good, but to have your own power in the place of God is to ignore our dependence on him. Genesis 3.16 KJV Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. The new versions change it from, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, to, your desire shall be contrary to your husband, or thou shalt desire to be under thy husband's power, or you'll want to control your husband, or the desire to uh, want to control her husband. The woman will have her desire to be to her husband in spite of the fact that she will be in sorrow through childbearing. To employ that she would want to be contentious excuses marital conflicts, which is not what God intended. Genesis 6 verse 8, KJV But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. The KJV says grace, where the new versions change it to favor. Noah serves as a type for Christians. The ark also serves as a visual allegory for salvation. Favor does not emphasize this typology for doctrine. Genesis 22 verse 8, KJV, And Abraham said, My son, God 
will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Where the KJV says, God will provide himself, the new versions change it to, God will provide for himself, or God himself will provide. If you take those first four words in of themselves, you can easily draw the interpretation that God at one point will offer himself as a sacrifice, where new versions leave no chance for this interpretation. Exodus 3 verse 14, KJV, And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. The KJV reads, I am that I am, where the new versions change it to, I am who I am. I am that I am is like saying, I am that man. If you say, I am who I am, then you really could be anyone and say the same thing. There is only one I am. Jehovah. Exodus 6 verse 3. Exodus 16 verse 28. KJV. And the Lord said unto Moses, How long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws? The KJV uses the word ye in relation to God's people, but the new versions change it to a generic you, which would mean that the Lord is talking to Moses. Moses is not the one being specifically addressed. As verse 27 shows in relation to collecting manna outside of God's instructions, that there went out some of the people on the seventh day for to gather. KJV distinguishes with ye, being plural or talking to multiple people, where in contrast to thee, this would be for singular usage, being that you're talking to one person. Where the new versions just go along using you, 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 you. And this would make it sound as though God was talking to only Moses. Numbers 23 verse 19. KJV. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? The KJV reads that he should repent, where the new versions change it to that he should change his mind or that he would change his mind. Repentance has more gravity and weight than simply change his mind. God is not going to go back on his word, and had even demonstrated repentance with Nineveh, not enacting his judgment on them after they turned from their evil way. Jonah 3 verse 10. Deuteronomy 23, verse 17, KJV. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. The KJV uses the words whore and sodomite. Meanwhile, the new versions change it to cult prostitute or even shrine prostitute. You might almost think it's okay to be a whore or sodomite according to new versions. As long as you are not a quotations temple prostitute. 
The word sodomite is completely removed from many of these new versions. If you want to see more differences, subscribe to this channel or go to Gumroad and download list. Also on Gumroad is a KJV vs. New Tract along with other tracts and content you can download and print. All monetary contributions are appreciated. Thank you for watching this segment and hope this has been to your edification.